live as a bird, isn't it? Well, that's just Helen living in Helen's land. I do fancy Helen. I hate being in a chicken thing! I miss my everyday life of teaching dancing, going to work, teaching dancing. But don't worry. Oh my God, she's here with us now. <laughs> Great to see you again, Helen. Now listen, I'm going to ask you straight away the question from Sarah Davis in Lincoln, who wants to know, Laura, Laura Nolan in Southern Colford wants to know, and Mrs. Harrell in Great Torrington wants to know, apart from many, many others. Please make it a happy ending. Are you and Paul going to get together? Big Brother will get back to on that one. <laughs> good answer, good answer. It is, it's just it's not loads of things going on at the moment. It's just a bit mad and um, just take each day what as it can because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, do you? So, but um, it's obvious that we do like each other. Hello, Mr. Clark, if you're watching in a bye. anyway. You and know? you're having a good time with it all. I, I love some of your catchphrases, they're just brilliant. Is there chicken in chickpeas? Did you really wonder if there was chicken in chickpeas? Well, me and Brian were having a discussion about it and we were like, do you think we should ask somebody? And he was like, you ask him, and so I thought, no, you ask, like, this, and he's going to think there is, and we were like, and I just, oh, God, okay, then I'll ask, and everyone was just laughing, because we and Brian just didn't know, we were like, we were like, crashing over about five minutes, going, dragon there is, I don't know. It's a like, feasible question, it's worth chicken it, that's not right. completely dark, is it at all, no, I think that's completely sensible, and we also said, do you think I sound Welsh on the telly? Well, you do, the answer is you do, and it's fantastic, and I think you've done a great yeah. deal for Wales, because mm -hmm. there's a picture of you and Charlotte, and of course, one survivor here on the front page, of the sun there, and we've had some knocking of Wales, haven't we? Anne Robinson famously, and you're a great. Are you going to do a bit of work for them? Do you think? You could, Definitely, you we'll do some together if she wants to. Yeah, Wales are. Um, Tourist board will be after you, mm -hmm. won't they? Yeah, they will. Definitely, there's nothing wrong with the Welsh accent. It's just that when you hear it, you just think, oh, my God, does really sound like that, you know? And I was going to them all after nine weeks. I still sound really Welsh. They're like, yeah, but um, put them Wales on the map. Definitely. <laughs> so, exactly, absolutely. And when are you going to see the, the green hills of home then, though? Because you haven't had a chance to get back Hopefully there, very you? soon. Yeah. Fingers crossed if nothing else is happening yeah. this weekend, sometime Sunday, Monday, and then back to London probably Tuesday. Fingers crossed if I can. I mean, how much stuff can happen? I mean, so much has gone on. I mean, you're just everywhere. I mean, I, I, I was counting the pages, starting from the front, mm -hmm. uh, on the sun, and, ham and you've just done every one of them, right up until the middle. And in the middle, look, there's a, look it's Helly's Heroes. It says, Sun Woman, edited by Helen. <laughs> Posh and Becks get the 10 out of 10. Helen's rating uh, for Robbie Williams, 9 out of 10. Des O'Connor, and I meant to ask you about that, gets a zero. And you see there, Eamon and Fiona, they get a 9 out of 10. We like that. Two. We like that. Should have been a 10 out of 10, obviously. But obviously, I'll forgive you that one point. The just one this point. Once. You must have signed so many deals and so many interviews. Have you made more money than Brian, who won? Um, I haven't signed anything. At all. You? No, I'm not, you, I know nothing. I'm just like, they were like, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, okay. And Do you need an agent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> So during the whole time in the house, when you look back at it, we saw a sort of kaleidoscope there of all experience, the tears, the laughter, the fun. What, what was the, the moment that stood out? Was there a particular moment that summed it all up for you? Um, having your birthday on national TV is quite good. Even though I did miss everyone, I was thinking, oh, you know, I have another birthday on national TV. Just, I think, the whole experience of just all of it was just fab. Mm. Did you have any idea that, that it would take off this way? Because the other, when the others came out mm -hmm. in the first series, they did get a lot of attention as well. Mm -hmm. Did you have any sense of what you would get when you walked out that door? No, because when we were going to interviews, they were sort of like saying, you know, Big Brother 2 probably won't be as popular as the first Big Brother and we weren't allowed to talk about it. Everyone, and it was hard not talking about it. If you were talking about it, you were into the die room and getting told off. And then um, I had no idea whatsoever because they were expecting it not to be such a big... Thing. They were expecting, you know, the first one to be the biggest, you know, thing, and like this one is supposedly, I feel, is better. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, we, we all love it. We all love it. And was there a worse moment, do you think, for you? Mm. Anything you regret now? 
cleaning up the chickens. Yeah, that. What those? What are they? Devils? According no, to they're Brian. evil demons. Evil <laughs> demons. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but it's all been good fun so far. Now you're going to come back because uh, if you have any questions for Helen, we've asked her some questions. We know you've got lots of them because you're calling in with with them already. But do give us a call if you want to say something specific, or you can email us from the GMTV website, gmtv.co.uk. Because she's coming back just before you go this time. Just do it for me. Just say, "Oh my God!" We'll get the sound men to get okay. all their their machinery right. Do it. Go for it. Turn the same day. Yeah. Oh my God! Did you just oh, turn? that was a tame version. It was a good taster, though. Mm. The national catchphrase. We'll be speaking a little bit later on, but uh, we're staying with showbiz now.